everyone, welcome to new updates of Odoo 18. In today's video, we will discuss about the dispatch management system. A dispatch management system is used to streamline and optimize the process of assigning and managing tasks for field workers or delivery drivers. And it helps business to improve the efficiency, reducing cost and enhance customer satisfaction. So let's dive into the inventory module to manage with the dispatch management system. First, let's head into the configuration settings. From there, we just need to enable the dispatch management system. This would allow us to manage the transportation by organizing the packs in your fleet or carrier. So once you enable this field, you can see that uh, we would have a feature to manage the dispatch management system under the batch and wave. So we also just need to ensure that we have enabled this then only we can just optimize the transfers by grouping the operations. Afterwards, we also just need to ensure that we have enabled the storage locations. So, as you just drag down, here you can find the uh, storage locations for warehouses, where we can track the locations of the warehouses. So, let's see if every changes that we have made. Afterwards, we can just move on to the configuration and here you would be able to find the operation type. So under the operation type, first we just need to enable the automatic transfer in order to manage with the grouping. So the grouping can be based on batch or wave. So I would like to group based on wave. So under the delivery orders, I just need to enable the automatic transfers. Afterwards, here you can see we have to choose any of the grouping type. It can be either wave or batch. I would like to group the plot based on wave. And afterwards, you can save the changes that you have made. Now. We can see that we can just manage the dispatch management locations. So as you just move on to the locations here, you would be able to find different locations such as warehouse output dog A and warehouse output dog B. These are the locations which are used to deliver the item or the dispatch the items. So once you have done with this, you can just move on to the operations and here you can find the physical inventory. So actually we can adjust the inventories. So you can choose the products that you just want to adjust the inventories. So I would like to choose different products. So I want to just manage the inventory of cable management box as well as I would like to uh, manage uh, the inventory of corner desk left seat. So here you can see the quantities and all. So once you have done with that, with that you can just move on to the operation and choose the physical inventory. So under the physical inventory, let's create the inventory adjustment by choosing the dispatch locations. So I would like to choose a dispatch location as WH output dog A and we can choose the product that is corner desk left seat with 100 quantity and you can just click on apply so that the quantity will be applied over there. Later on, what you have to do is that you can again click on new and we can just choose the other product. So I would like to choose the same dispatch location that is WH output uh, and that's from dock A and the product is just cable management box where you can set the quantity that you just need to set. So afterwards, you can just apply this and we just need to apply uh, this for all. And here you can see that we are just making an inventory adjustment with the reason as quantity updated. So you can just click on update quantities and you can apply that. So here we also just need to set the loader serial number uh, for the product cable management box. So if you want to set the load number, you can also set that. So in order to manage the load number, uh, either you can just move on here and you can either track the product by load number or you can just change that. So if it's possible to change, you can just save the changes that you have made. So I would like to make a traceability based on quantity. So I'll be changing that. And now let's move on to the sales module in order to manage with the wave transfer. So let's move on to new button where you can choose a customer. I would like to choose a customer over here as deco edit and let me choose the product that's cable management box as well as uh, the other product as corner desk. Which, um, you can see, we can just confirm this. And afterwards, let me set the quantity over here with uh, 6 and 5 respectively. Later on, we can save this 
and let me duplicate uh, this and here you can see we are just creating uh, the order for other customer that is for Azure interior. Now let me save that. Afterwards you can just move on to the quotations and select this quotations and move on to the action in order to send this quotations to the customer. So you can choose mark quotation as sent. So currently you can see we have sent this quotation and we just need to confirm these quotations in order to set it as a sale order. So here you can see that uh, it has moved to the sale order state and we have the other one in order to confirm. So we have just done with that. Now under the delivery, you can just deliver the item by checking the availability and all. So let's check the availability of the product. So before checking the availability of the product, we have to change the source location. So let me change the source location as WH stock uh, doc A because we have just made the inventory adjustment from there. Afterwards, you can save this and let's check the availability. So as you check the availability here, you can see that the batch is made over here. Now, you also just need to ensure that we have made the same changes for the other reference number of the quotation. So as you just move on to the quotation here, you would be able to find uh, the other one. Here also, when you just try to make the delivery of the item, we can just change the source location. So here, if we know the product is just in, uh, um, yeah, doc A. So from there, we can just make the delivery. So let me save that and let's check the availability. So as we just check the availability here, you would be able to find the, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, the batch. And we can also find the batch from the inventory module. So as you just move on to the inventory module, under the operations here, we can find the wave transfers as well as batch transfers. So here, I I'm managing the dock uh, locations for wave transfers. So you can just move on to the transfer and here you can see the uh, transfers that are created. So let's move on to the wave transfer and here you can see that uh, we have just collect uh, the products from different transfers and you would be able to find the transfer reference number over here. So here you can see the dock location is automatically configured over here. As we just want to deliver this item to the customer, we have to choose a vehicle that is from the third party. So here you can set the vehicle. I would like to choose the transport truck over here. So as I just choose a truck here, you can see the vehicle category by showing the maximum volume and maximum weight that can be included or set in this vehicle. So if you want to adjust this weight and volume of the product, you can just go to the internal link of the product. From there, you can choose the inventory tab and under the inventory tab, you would be able to find the weight as well as the volume of the product can be adjusted. So I would like to set the weight of the product as 2 and the volume as uh, 100 meter cube. Later on, let me save this and let's move on to the wave transfer that we are dealing with. So here you can see that we can find the change that is applied right now over here. Now, if you want to click on validate, you can click on validate and the delivery will be 10 frame. The source location that is uh, W H uh, output dog A and the delivery has 10 by using the vehicle Volvo FM ODO uh, 1347 and here you can find all other details. Now if you want to uh, print the labels and all you can just click on print labels uh, I mean or uh, print uh, the layout of the invoice you can easily get that. And here you would be able to find uh, the items that is uh, included and everything. So if you want to continue with the process, you can continue that. Or you can just click on print labels. This would print the labels. So if you want to confirm that, you can confirm. Uh, and here you can see we have just uh, done with the uh, printing of the labels. So this is how we just manage with the dispatch management system in Odoo 18 inventory module, which is one of the new features that you can just find under the inventory module. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching the video.